Hi. ARC, uh, UNSW Student Life, is run by students for students with the mission of creating the best student experience through clubs, sport, volunteering, events, wellness, and heaps more. We've helped ARC achieve this goal by implementing for them and helping them manage Salesforce Experience Cloud. So, personas, Fred, a member of the ARC team, he wants to support student clubs. He wants a single source of truth about clubs, members and participation. Once again, we see Kane, an undergraduate student at New South Wales this time. He wants to enjoy the student life and he is thinking about starting a club. So Kane goes to the beautifully designed and compelling art website and clicks on join today. Uh, his undergraduate uh, and membership is free, but there's opportunities for other types of membership to be paid through the integrated payment gateway. So Kane joins. And this is how ARC works. At the top level, our ARC staff who have full access to a uh, single source of truth that Salesforce provides them about members and clubs. At the bottom we have the many thousands of club members. Uh, and these club members can become club executives um, if elected um, through the general process of AGMs for the some 200 or so clubs. When they become club executives, they gain a higher level of access and so can interact with their own membership. This is all handled through the Salesforce security model. So, Kane accesses the Spark portal, which is a Salesforce Experience Cloud portal, and he sees list of clubs, clubs events, he can access volunteering opportunities, he can book resources, he can apply for grants, and in fact several other functions are available. When he looks at the listing of clubs, he can see the nearly 300 clubs that are currently operating and are affiliated to ARC. He can join, in this case, the Film Society. As you can see when he joins, this is a club that requires approval to join. Uh, a message will be sent by, to the club executive and they can approve or disapprove his member, member membership. His membership fees are $10 as an ARC member, which he can pay when he visits the first film night. So when he goes back to my clubs, Kane can now see Film Society along with the other clubs he's already joined. Kane can also look at club events, both the events of clubs that he's a member of and the broader open to all club events. He can register his attendance and withdraw at any time and the club executive can keep track of who is actually going to attend their event and manage those attendances if there are problems such as poor weather with outdoor events which can then be cancelled or rescheduled and attendees can be informed quickly through the portal. Kane can also go and visit the volunteer army section where a number of non-for-profit organisations have partnered with ARC to take advantage of the enthusiasm and time available from various ARC members. So Kane can say he's available, he can tell exactly when he's available for that volunteering activity in terms of time or just the number of hours. And this information will be passed back to the participating charity and can be monitored easily. Kane can book a room, either as a club member or as an individual, and when he clicks, he'll be given full information of how to actually apply for that room, the conditions and the costs. Kane can, in fact, start a club. This involves him following some procedures and gathering documents, applying and affiliating. And this binds him and other club executives and members to follow ARC UNSW rules. Uh, affiliating as a club 
gives him advantages when it comes to liability, insurance, various other aspects, and gives ARC the certainty that all club organisations will follow a set of standard rules and guidelines. He's given access to his affiliation form to start. When he fills out the details, somebody in ARC will approve or disapprove and create the new club. When Kane visits as an executive of that club, he sees a slightly different view, and this time he can see the membership of the club. He can approve, disapprove, expel members. <laughs> he can view files associated with the club, in this case affiliation agreements, bank statements, old membership lists, constitutions, uh, AGM attendance certificates. He can create an event for his club by uploading an image providing details about the time and the place and this will then be published on the public website. He can also make it private only to club members. He can look at his financial information. From time to time there are funds that are transferred from ARC to the clubs for grants and various other purposes. And he can view previous grant applications and make new grants. And you can see here that one of his grant applications has been approved. Uh, Kane has full access to uh, a range of forms which associated with the administration of his club. And in this case, we're looking at the re-affiliation form that he's obliged to submit every year, detailing signatories, treasurers, account numbers, various other important information which is necessary for affiliation. Staff in ARC can keep track of a range of information about clubs, club members, attendances and various other important management information and they can report back metrics to UNSW about the level of participation in events and clubs in general. And in case all of this administration sounds horribly boring, there's a lot of exciting things happening in ARC. Uh, they've got a very healthy membership which has remained quite stable during the COVID crisis which is a great testament to their enthusiasm and application. And so they've earned themselves a very well-deserved wellness day. <laughs>